We have one mission for today, and that's to make it to the dang hardware store, okay? No matter how many zombies are in between me and my new axe, no matter how cold it gets, it can be a negative 100 degrees. We're getting an axe for my boy Kyle. K Kenny. <laughs> We're getting an axe, okay? Alrighty, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. If you can't notice anything, I actually got the fire axe out on our actual person. We're gonna give the wood axe a little bit of a break. And that's because in this episode, right here, right now, I'm gonna make you to that damn hardware store. Even if it means the end of me. Actually, no. But anyways, it's still snowing pretty darn hard right now. Let's actually open these bad boys up. And, um, yeah. I get used to the snow. You know, those first three, four, three to four episodes that you, you know, didn't have snow are gonna be the only ones. Because it's gonna be so damn cold outside that it's never gonna not snow. And the snow's never gonna melt. It's actually just gonna accumulate till I just drown in it, and I'm gonna have to be cutting out little channels with my snow shovel in order to actually get anywhere. Thankfully, that isn't actually gonna be the case, but it could be in the near future. Let's go wear our nice little jacket here, and let's get started heading on outside. Should probably shut the door. It's common courtesy, right? Anyways, let's actually go check our skills. We got level 4 in axes. Literally, <laughs> the only, like, thing that we actually have a level in is that. Oh, zombie. Aw, oh, man, you're really ruining my vibe. I'm still not even done with the intro, and you're already coming in at me. Wow, you're actually, that guy's actually pretty damn beefy. I want to save the axe for special occasions, though. We do have the hand axe, technically, so that's also nice. But I want to go check out our protection values. Pretty damn decent. 45 in most of our chest areas. Stomach is a 30, which is a little bit worse. But yeah, I could, I could dig it. We're going to need to find some gloves. That's definitely going to be pretty useful. And maybe even a motorcycle helmet, though, to be honest, I love the winter hat so much. It is, like, really damn nice to have. Anyways, our, uh, I guess our fruits of our labor should be felt pretty darn hard right now. As you can see, it's pretty nice of a walk. We also are nearing the start of the chopper. It's around almost five days in, so I'm expecting it to hit at any moment. And if it does, we're actually going to be screwed because we don't have a vehicle to get out. I'm probably just going to run into town where there's a lot of zombies anyways and just train them around for a couple of hours. Probably not the best idea, but it, it's the only idea I have right now. Okay, we made it to the little tower thingy. I'm not seeing, um, nah, there's actually not a lot of zombies here. Let's see if we can... Cool. Ooh, look at that bad boy. This, this bad boy looks like it's ready to go on a little bit of a trip. Gas can, useful. I'm going to go yoink that real quick. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go check. Oh, I think they're in. Yeah, we're gonna need to hop out real quick. How many zombies are dealing with? Four? I can do four. Four is no biggie. We have our way out. Let's just kind of use a vehicle as a bit of a barrier between these zombies. Okay, we don't want to get in a lunge right now. My god, we are so powerful. <laughs> you never stood a chance when you walked right into the air. Yeah, baby. Look, look, look at the bodies. Whoa! Oh my god. Okay, zombies starting to ramp up. We're gonna need to get out of here. Oh yeah, we are. Are we already exhausted? No, surely not. Surely I'm not exhausted already. Okay, how many zombies we got? This is exactly why we brought the fire axe, though. Okay, they're pretty they're actually separated. Just start yoinking them. Come on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Shove you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get that kill. Nice. Get the ground and pound. Bonk you in the head. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's basically a Hollywood movie at this point, right? <laughs> oh, my God. The Massacre. This is why I love the Fire Axe. Like, Wood Axe is good and all, but it actually has downsides. The Fire Axe is just all up. It's just all ups. Okay, big ups. I mean, just absolutely massive ups. And, yeah. That was a good group of 10 to 20 taken care of. And I didn't even pop my vitamin gummies yet. No, 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 watch, watch me. I'm gonna pop my Flintstone gummies. I think they're grape flavor, sadly, so it's gonna taste like, taste like cough medicine, but I always liked grape flavor, okay? And now, it's gonna be a one shot. Nope, two shot, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it takes a minute to like kick in. Give it like 940 is when I'll start one tapping them up the wazoo, okay? You gotta give a, give the, oh, maybe they said in a little bit early, if you know what I mean, we'll see. Yep, Flintstone Gummy set in. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh yeah, they definitely set in all right. Alrighty, how many more do we got here? Quite a few. But it's a slow and steady rate at which we're doing this is what's gonna help us out. I, th I think a couple of zombies are gonna start coming up behind us as well, so we get- Yep, yep, yep. Heard you a mile away, buddy. Nice try, though. We just gotta keep, you know, our watch on every single flank. I mean, this has basically become a- This has become a Hollywood movie. This is like something you'd see, like a good B-tier movie. Big lumberjack, you know. Of course, we don't actually... I guess if we were following a real B-movie plot, it'd be like, I gotta save my daughter. She's in the middle of the city. I gotta save my daughter. She's in the middle of the city. And there's zombies in between me and her. There's only one way to get through. And that is with just sheer rigorous and very fun murder. <laughs> Can't say it any better. God, I love the fire axe. Ooh, mama. It only took us, what, four levels? But it's definitely paying out in the end. We'll just take out all the zombies that are aggro on us. We're probably going to head into that tower for like a hot second to rest up for a minute. Because we are a little bit exhausted. And by a little bit, I mean just some moderate exertion. We could probably keep on pushing ourselves. But I am not one to push limits. Okay. We took out... Oh, there's... You know, they just keep on uh, piling up. Well, whatever. We might as well kind of get them into a pile so I won't have to deal with them later. Yeah, there's three zombies after us right now. No biggie. Let's try and take him out before the others come up towards me. There we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's get you taken care of. There we go. Man, I, you, you, strong is so useful. It honestly is. Okay, I think we're good now. Let's go rest up inside this tower area. Hopefully there's no zombies inside, because that might be a wee bit of a problem if there are. Hello? Oh my, there's actually someone in here. Okay, I was, <laughs> I was not expecting that. Probably shouldn't have been so nonchalant. That could have been a very easy death. But at least we know what's actually here. One zombie. Hey! Ooh, there's some pop on the floor. A couple of ziggies. Don't mind if I do. It looks like they're having a bit of a party. Okay, okay. Well, hey, don't mind me. I'll just crack open a couple brewskis with the boys. That's all right, man. Hell yeah. Give me them. I I'm not a smoker. Okay. We have to respect our lungs, because our lungs respect us, right? If we didn't have good lungs on us, we wouldn't be able to drag out these, like, sequences much long, so... Having those with us is gonna be pretty nice. Also, gotta unequip the jacket. It's kind of, uh, making us sweat real hard right now. So, uh, yeah, unequipping a lot of this junk is probably gonna help us out quite a bit. I just don't wanna overheat and die, you know? So, we'll, we'll even unequip the hat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now we just look like Wesker. What if, what if we are Wesker? You ever think of that? I mean, we got the aviators. All we need is a, oh no. If I get a razor, <laughs> I will become the ultimate life form. Uh, I don't see one anywhere though. That's okay. <laughs> but if I were to get like, um, one of the middle parts, not middle part, one of the ooh, left like parts, I could totally pass for a Wesker. We have the aviators. All we need is a police outfit. <laughs> I mean, it, that would explain our superhuman strength as well if we were, you know, the Albert Wesker. But uh, I'm more of a Chris kind of guy. You know, Chris, he, he's an honest man. All they did to gain his muscle was just use steroids. Unlike Wesker, he's, you know, bioweapons and all that to enhance his strength. When all you need are some good old-fashioned steroids, baby. Hell yeah. Ooh, oats. That's actually pretty damn nice. Those carry a lot. Nine millimeter rounds. Oh, holy crap. People in this first story are packing heat. M625. We don't actually have one of those. We'll leave the M36 in there, though. Nah, we'll take it with us. Screw it. Okay. Well, this will be a nice little spot to rest up for a hot second. And, you know, just get our bearings together. And then after we're done resting up, we're going to get back right into it. Okay, we're fully rested up. And, you know, I was thinking... Speaking about, like, Wesker, I really want a Resident Evil mod ban. Or maybe I could do a series? I'm not sure how I'd really, like, uh, I guess format it, though. Because Resident Evil is just a little bit weird. I don't know what the goal would be. I don't think it'd be something like the Silent Hill series. That was kind of like a, you know, one-time deal. Just to test the waters of, like, the narrative stuff. I, I don't really have the, a lot of time to think up, you know, good stories. If I, if I want to do a narrative series, I want it to have a pretty decent story, just not be something I cobble together like Silent Hill. Uh, uh. 
But, um, yeah, I definitely want it to be, like, pretty quality if I do come up with one. But, yeah, uh, I don't know how a Resident Evil one would work. Maybe I'd just be a police officer, give myself a gun, and just play with terror zombies. I mean, that's basically what Resident Evil is. You got your normal, average, everyday zombie, and in between, you got a couple of crackhead, crazy bioweapons that want to murder you. I mean, that's what the Terror Zombies mod is all about. I mean, they even have Mr. X ones. So maybe we will just do another, like, Terror Zombies playthrough. I'll probably add in its own little twist that separates it from my previous one. Maybe I'll be like a Leon S. Kennedy knockoff. I actually do have the costume for him, but yeah, it should be fun. But we're not going to worry about that for a while, because I want Kenny to go far, okay? I don't want to switch over to Kennedy just yet. I like Kenny the Lumberjack with style and strength, okay? I'm definitely going to lower, uh... <laughs> I'm definitely not going to pick a Lumberjack next time, though. This is just crazy. Lumberjacks are honestly top tier. You can't change my mind. Like, the amount of power that they just get with a single swing is absolutely insane. Okay, we're getting closer to the hardware store. Just a, just a little bit more. I, it's literally, I can see it in the corner. I can see the first starting plant. There's only around 100 zombies in between me and that, uh, that area. We're actually gonna save our normal axe because it's looking pretty damn bad in terms of condition. We have to make it. It's the only way things will be all right. Don't worry, we got this in the bag. Honestly, the hand axes are really good. <laughs> like it's oh man I, I did that like like it was a shaggy thing like we're almost there man just a little bit more you just gotta have a little bit of faith Scooby all right come on scrooby doe you just gotta have a little bit of faith oh god that's bad that's bad that's bad okay we're able to get out of that real quick we don't want to get into confrontations like that very often I'd like to keep zombies at a pretty nice of a distance. We're gonna have to pull out the fire axe. Oh, this ain't good. If this thing breaks before I'm actually done, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Wow, this is actually a really damn nice way to kite hordes, huh? Look at that! Yo, vehicles are kind of good in that respect. Like, look at these chumps. They don't even know what's going on. Okay. I might have just found a new way to deal with a couple of zombies. If you cut, like, a corner on a car pretty fast, they get caught up on it, and then they pathfind over. Look at that! It's basically, it refreshes a conga line for you. We're thinking up new strats every damn day of the week. Oh my, that, this is actually working pretty well. <laughs> no freaking way! God, that, God, that's satisfying! Dude, I love it when, when, like, you can just get that kill chain. That kill chain, top freaking notch. Of course, we have barely even put a dent in the numbers. We still got to keep on trucking, team. If we want to make it to that hardware store before this fire axe breaks, we got to start putting it all fronts, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, hand axe time. They're a little bit separated. I just, you know, the, the wood axe is fun and all, but I, I, I like the faster stuff, especially since they do about the same amount of damage. Oh, man. Man, those one-shots with the hand axe are absolutely gruesome. We're almost there. I see the corner. Just a few more zombies. I really want to make it, man. Come on. You, you gotta have... You gotta have faith. The power within, team. We got this. Honestly, really high pop... Hop, pop blah, 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 oh my god, I can't talk right now. Really high populations uh, with zombies is pretty darn fun. Okay, let's get some distance from them. We don't want to corner ourselves here. There we go. Okay. No problem. If it's just a two, we can basically stun lock them pretty easy. I don't know if the hand axe actually gives me, um, I guess, reduced stamina per hit, but I'd guess so, because it does way less than, say, a fire axe, so maybe we'll be able to use a hand axe just to... We're almost there, man. I can taste just all the axes that I'm going to be getting in the future, man. It's going to be insane. It's going to be crazy. I can't wait for it. We're exhausted. I, I, I don't even care. We'll just... Gotta keep on trucking, team. Gotta keep on... Ooh, what is that? What the heck is that right there? I want to check that out real quick. Hold up. Don't get up. Told you not to get up, buddy, but you got up. Tire Iron Axe. Yeah, we can use it. Give me, like, five seconds, please. Thank you. Okay, we'll use, uh... We'll use this one first, though. Oh, my God. Even when I'm exhausted, I'm just destroying them. Okay, this might be a run scenario. It definitely is looking like that. Okay, 
slowly making progress. Let's actually jog away from them pretty fast. I don't want to deal with them right now. We're just going to go rest up for another hot second. And hopefully by the time we're done, we're going to have access to the hardware store. I need this in my life, man. I need it. I don't want it. I need it. Alrighty, we're all rested up. Let's go equip our jacket, our hat, and our scarf. And we're going to head right back out there. And we're just going to start massacring them. <laughs> I do hear a couple zombies outside. I think they followed me. So we're going to need to take them out pretty fast here. Yeah, we're already getting heated in here. Let's hurry up, hop outside. And what is going on out here? Okay, they actually stopped at the front, which is pretty nice of them, to be honest. A group of five, huh? Pretty separated. I like that quite a bit. We'll be able to take out the... Yeah, no. Okay, whenever they come in into, like, a horizontal line and not a vertical line, that's when you know you need to, you know, kind of refresh the plane a little bit, okay? You definitely don't want to fight them while they're horizontal like that most of the time, unless you're just a strong goddess, like, as I am. But, yeah, definitely don't uh, try it if you can't shove them back as far. Woo, vitamins! Give me more vitamin gummies! Flintstone edition, baby! Ooga yabba dabba do! <laughs> I almost said just ooga booga. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go pop the entire thing of vitamins because I'm doing this today. I, I I literally am. This episode, I'm making it to the hardware store and I'm grabbing at least one axe out of there. Okay, and I'm not gonna be happy if I just take. I'm I'm not a quitter. I'm not a loser. I'm not a loser. You hear me? Oh, it broke. Whatever. I'll just uh. I use my boot. We don't use our boot too often. Well, see you later, hand axes. Nice using you. Let's go take our last couple vitamins here. And we're gonna be back on the road. Let's go try this bad boy out on you. Okay. One, two hits. That's not bad. We'll use it till we can make it there. Okay. If the zombies can keep on supplying me axes to make it to the hardware store, I'm not gonna be that mad. But it seems like this tire iron one is pretty damn good. I mean, I am an absolute god when it comes to axes. We're almost actually at level five. We're halfway there, practically. So, yeah, we're gonna be able to do it. This thing actually swings pretty fast, which is pretty nice. Oh, yeah. My god, tire iron axe. Now, we're getting a little bit hungry. So, let's go pop a cold one out real quick, okay? Some carbonated beverage. Some Coca Cola. It's actually diet. I can see it because it's white. That's fine. You know, maybe... Actually, no, that's not good. We need to gain weight. <laughs> that's actually not good at all. Alrighty. Just slow and steady wins the race. Corpses will be littering the streets, but as long as I can get my goodies, I'm gonna be a-okay. Oh, we are almost there. There it is, right there. Just a few zombies just sticking around the area that we need to take care of, okay? I don't even care about clearing out all the ones. I just want to grab a single axe from there so I can say I did it. That's all I want right now. If I can do that, just that, I would be very happy. Okay, they're coming up near us right now. That's going to be a bit of a problem. Oh, that was a bad... Okay, that was a bad swing on me. Whenever they go horizontal like that, it could go bad very quickly. So you got to watch out for that kind of stuff. There we go. Okay. Just a little bit more, man. These zombies, they never end. But at least they're coming towards me, and I don't have to come towards them, which is pretty nice of them, to be honest. Ooh, nice try. Nice try, but uh, maybe you'll give me next time. Oh, uh, it never ends. <laughs> the hordes are unrelenting in these part of the woods. Come on. We're almost there, baby. Hey, we leveled up something. Let's go check that out real quick. Maintenance. That's actually going to be pretty helpful for our axes. Good stuff, my dude. Good stuff. Oh, my. <laughs> this feels... This actually feels like a game. I mean, I, it is a game, actually. That's a perfect analogy. But, I mean, it feels like just your average everyday zombie game. We're almost there. Okay, we're not even going to worry about the ones up there. I could care less about them. All I could care about is this, like, group of ten down over here. We should be able to take them out pretty easy. Come on. Bring it on. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can... Ooh, I almost got caught up on that car. That could have been a bit of a problem. Nice. Nice. Okay, there's actually quite a few coming in after us right now. We'll keep on playing Ring Around the Rosy with the car. That should help out with the horde numbers quite a bit. How many do we got? Like seven, six zombies on our six? Yep, that's going to be a jog situation. We can't get caught by these guys, okay? We can just... Ooh, there's actually a fence up here that will be pretty darn useful for us. There is an idiot banging on that um, telephone shack there. 
Alright, so we might have to worry about him. We can actually hit the zombies before they even climb over the fence, which is pretty nice. Yep, let's avoid those lunges. Hop on over. Zombies are starting to multiply a little bit more. Okay, we'll take out the stragglers coming in after us right now. There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ooh, it's a good thing we checked behind us. That's why you always gotta check behind you, ladies and gentlemen. No, the lunge! Okay, we're good. We're good. We're okay. I got really worried about that lunge, I'll be honest here. <laughs> but we're alright. Every little thing's gonna be alright. Holy crap, that was terrifying though. Absolutely terrifying. Nice. Keep him on that side of the fence. There we go. Okay, we're getting a little bit exhausted. Come on, baby. There we go. Okay, let's go rest up for a hot second and keep on keeping on. We're almost there. It's 4 o'clock, which is a bit of a problem. We'll wait till 5, or maybe 5, 10, and then we'll continue the slaughter from there. So close, yet so far. We're almost there, team. We're almost there. Just gotta, just gotta keep on toughing it out. Does this thing work? That'd be pretty cool if it did. Um, no, sadly not. Okay, we're gonna switch to number 4. And head over that away. There we go. Okay, just a group of four. No problem for yours truly. Until it is a problem. Yep, that's gonna be. Oh, God. They're grouping up real nice right about now. Okay, there we go. We can get in a free hit there. Hurry up. Turn the corner real quick. There we go. Okay. Cars? Pretty useful as a separator for at least walking zombies. Yeah. They all died right where they stood. Cool, cool, cool. We're almost there. We are so close. I can smell the steel. Please. Listen. The self-imposed rules that I have is that all I need is one axe out of there, okay? Just one. Just a singular axe. Maybe we ought to get a little bit more quiet. A little bit low-key. A little bit down to earth. Almost there. Oh my god, that's a lot of zombies inside there. God damn it. We are so close. I can't. I can't stop here. We need more vitamins, damn it. <laughs> we need more vitamins. Okay, we're gonna be alright. We're doing this. We're doing this. We're doing this. Wow. We this act this tire iron axe is actually like top tier. So close. Please. There's a hand axe there. Technically, that's inside the hardware store, right? Right? Yeah. Come on. There we go. Okay, I was hoping we were going to go outside. Let's make sure... Yep. Okay. See, Purple Lady is coming up behind us. Let's take you out real quick and then take out Purple Lady. There we go. See you later, Purple Dude. Purple Lady. Open up that door. Shove one. Hit the other in the head. We're almost there. Just gotta have a little bit of faith. We got this. There's only, what, five in here? No problems. No problems for me. God damn. Dang it, man! I want my axes! I'ma get my axes! There we go. Okay. Three more. Three more. We're actually getting a little bit heated in here. Yes! Yes! Yes, dude! Okay, we need to unequip this jacket real quick. Come on. And the scarf. I can't be overheating in here. I don't want to be wet when I get outside, okay? Being wet and being cold. Oh, no, it broke. Okay, it's a good thing we had our axe on standby. <laughs> okay. There we go. We made it, baby. Look at these stocked shelves, man. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. Look at all this. It's all... It's all going to be mine soon enough. Let's just keep on... We need to kill the zombies before I even start looting, okay? It's gonna be okay. I think we ought to chug a celebratory pop. One X, one X, one X. Technically, that's an X. Pike pole? Huh. I've never seen those before. Whatever, we just need one. Okay, let me go chug this pop real quick, lady, and I will be right with you. Let me down it. Let me down it, please. Yeah. That's all we need, baby. Okay. Oh my god. Look at this beautiful place. Like, give me the heavy machete. Yeah, baby. We're back in... Ooh. A Pulaski axe. Oh, my. 
This, this is a little bit exhaustion, but it might be a little bit worth it. Oh, look at this bad boy! Oh, yeah, I, I need to try this out. <laughs> There's no way I'm not gonna try it out. Wait, hold up. Hello? I actually want to base up here later. This is actually what I've been alluding to. So I think... Oh, no, hold on, hold on. I need to see this. Oh, damn it. We can't wear the, um, the hat with it. That's a... Oh, man. Whatever. Welder mask is useless. But yeah, this might be our base. Quite a few zombies nearby, but, you know, it's a little fixer-upper, right? We'll just wear the aviators for right now. Let's go test this bad boy out, though. Kabuya! Oh, my. Yeah, I love this. Look at all this stuff, dude. It's it's actually up the wazoo. Like, the amount of weapons here right now. Okay. Give me an ice axe. That sounds cool. Pike pole, hammer. Oh, my God. This is heaven. This is heaven. I've died, and I've made it to heaven. You can't even tell me otherwise right now. We need to get back here later. Okay. It, this literally has everything we'd ever need in our entire life. So many Pulaski axes right now. <laughs> I mean, they're heavy. But that's okay in my opinion. I mean, if it kills zombies, it's fine in my opinion. Oh, that one sounded juicy. Yeah. Yeah, no. No, no, no. This actually... There's, there's no way that they survived this. How much How much damage? I eh, just max damage. No biggie. This is literally going to be a one-shot for the rest of my life, probably. Oh, yeah. Look at all this stuff here. Ooh, fishing net trap. We'll go actually set that up real quick. Yoink that. There we go. Hello, zombie. Good night, zombie. Yeah, uh, that was a nice try. What axe? Pfft, get that shit out of here. I I'm looking for better stuff right about now. Hunting knife, fishing rods. Honestly, this is going to be a pretty nice spot to base up in. We'll probably move here after the chopper is done, right? That's probably a good call. But yeah, it's almost 8 o'clock, so I ought to start heading back. Yeah. We spent enough time here. We, we will come back here. We will come back here. But today's not that day because it's going to start to, um... The chopper's going to come by and it's going to hit pretty damn hard. So I want to be kind of prepared when that does happen. Anyways, I think we're going to go leave it. We did what we needed to do. We made it to their hardware store, baby. That's all I could ever ask, right? It only took us, what, 100 zombies? 200 zombies? More of like, probably like 120 maybe? I mean, we'll might as well use this thing while we have it. We technically aren't fully kitted right now, but that's fine by me. Oh my, this thing is so good. <laughs> oh, I love you, Kentucky Carnage. Thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, it's going to exhaust us really quickly. But my God, does it add in some really nice, you know, it's, it's a spice of life, man. It's what it is. Okay, let's go ahead home. I definitely think this is deserving of a cold one, though, dude. Some good old pop to just swig down everything that we've done so far. Actually, we should probably be wearing the jacket and stuff, considering that we're probably going to get a cold. And a cold would probably be our inevitable death. So, wearing something is probably going to be pretty nice for us. There we go. Now, one thing that I am still a little bit curious about is if increasing our skill with the axe level... If it'll actually give us uh, extra speed. Because if we can max out our axe level, which we probably will in this series given that I if given that I survive, we should be able to max out our axe level pretty easily. I mean, it's already almost at level 5 in just like one episode. So I could definitely see that being in the works. Let's see how many zombies we've killed. Around 453 in 5 days. I'll take it. I will take it. <laughs> oh my, you really can't get any better than that. Speaking of that, I'm actually going to put my normal axe inside the uh, <laughs> inside the fanny pack while I have the Pulaski axe out on our back. Because just the name, the Pulaski axe, just sounds really cool, okay? But let's be honest here. It's literally, okay, it's a pickaxe-axe combo that's probably a good five pounds over that of a normal axe, man. This thing is literally going to demolish anything it comes across. We could also set up our fishing trap. In the in the pool. You know what? Screw it. Yeah. We'll just set it up right there. Maybe we'll catch something in the morning? You know, that'll give you guys something to look forward to, I guess. This was one fun episode, though. Holy hell. <laughs> yeah, this is one great episode, I tell you what. But it's about time we end it here. Sadly. Um, I don't know when we're gonna move. We're probably- we might move tomorrow? 
I mean, we're gonna need to take some stuff with us, but we're definitely gonna need to wait for this chopper to blow over. It's almost, it's almost time, okay? It's almost chopper time, and that's gonna be a wee bit of a problem, so we gotta be prepared for that whenever it does decide to drop. Anyways, if you guys liked this episode, please like, favorite, share, subscribe for more. I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a damn good day. Peace out.